first grade, this week we'll continue our coding lessons with Harvester. Only this week, we'll use the loop block. A loop is something that repeats over and over and over again. Keep watching and I'll show you more. On my webpage, slide down to technology. Click technology. On the online tech page, slide down and find the first grade button. Click first grade. Today's Google Classroom assignment says first grade computer programming. This is lesson four. This week, continue your computer programming lessons with loops with Harvester. Continue to watch the video, then click on the code.org link and repeat picking corn in lessons two through 13. Let's click on the code.org link, course B. Click course B. We need to help the harvester pick all the corn. Click OK. We know that she needs to move east first. Then she's going to pick the corn. Then she needs to move east again and pick the corn. And again, she needs to move east, then pick the corn. Do you see a pattern? Instead of writing all this code, we could use the repeat block. Click and hold on the repeat block and drag it out. What are we repeating? A moving east and picking corn. This code is exactly the same as this code, only it took me a lot less time building this code than it did with this. Let's replace this code with the one using the repeat. Now hit run. Good job. Let's go ahead and hit continue. The harvester needs to pick all the corn. Do you see the pattern? Moving west, then picking the corn. Moving west, then picking the corn. Moving west, then picking the corn. And finally, moving west and picking the corn. If something is repeated over and over again, you can use the repeat block. Click and hold on the repeat block and connect it to when run. Now, in that repeat block, put in what is repeated. Moving west, then picking corn. We know that we're going to repeat it four times. Let's hit run. Nice job. Now we're going to click continue. Learn more about loops by watching this video. This is a repeat block. The code inside a repeat block will repeat or loop as many times as you'd like. In puzzles with loops, code that looks like this works exactly the same as code like this. When you see the same blocks repeated over and over many times in a row like this, that's a clue that you could make your code shorter by moving the repeated section into a repeat block. Now, let's give it a try.
Now that the video is over, click continue. Can you pick all the corn using only one move block? Well, I know that I will use a repeat block. I know that she is moving west. Then she needs to pick corn. And she's going to repeat that four times. Click run. Nice job. Click continue. The instructions say, I need help to find out what's wrong. Can you help the harvester find the bug in her code? What's wrong with this code? Do you see what's wrong? She needs to repeat this step. How many times? Six times. Click on the four, then choose six. She'll move and repeat six times, moving south, then picking corn. Let's hit run. Nice job. Now click continue. The instructions say to try it yourself. Can you pick the corn at the end too? Let's see what happens. We need the repeat block. She's moving south and picking the corn six times. But then what happens? She needs to move east then pick the corn. You can add blocks before or after the repeat block. Let's see if this works. Click run. Nice job. Click continue. Look at all this corn. Can you pick it all by yourself? Try to complete puzzles seven all the way through 13 on your own. Don't take more than a half an hour or 30 minutes to practice this. If you get stuck, keep trying. We'll practice more coding skills next week. Good luck with this lesson and I'll see you then.